what is up YouTube Fury here bringing us a brand new video in today's video we'll be talking about the Port of Fortress grenade coming to the game into Fortnite as you guys know this is going to be another basic Port of Fort type of grenade but it's going to be a little bit different it's going to obviously build a bigger base for you and it is coming to the game very soon now we're going to be talking about what that's going to bring to the game what's going to happen to the Port of Fort what's going to happen with grenades in general in the game of Fortnite so we're going to be going over that in today's video if you guys do enjoy make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new don't forget to turn on those post notifications and if you get first like on any of my videos make sure you send me a twitter image i had you guys back with that follow and with that said let's get right into today's video if you guys are interested in winning some free v bucks we are currently giving away 6,000 v bucks to you guys all you got to do to enter is like the video subscribe if you aren't already and turn on those post notifications as well as follow the gleam link in the description down below there's going to be six winners a thousand v bucks each good luck to everyone now once you guys open up fortnite on the new updates page there is a coming soon the port of fortress it mentions here toss down a port of fortress or the port of fortress and take defense to new heights so as you guys know as of now we do have a port of fort grenade in the game where you can just go ahead throw it down and build a kind of small base relatively small base compared to this new port of fortress now with the port of fort grenade it was basically a one by one that has like basically a height of three and then you know some walls around the top of it or some sort of flares around the top of it now what i'm assuming with this new port of fortress it's just going to build a bigger you know type of base like that it's basically going to do the same thing but probably a three by three and then do the same thing with the ramps on the outside i'm assuming that's what this port of fortress is going to actually do um it obviously is build a or you know it says port of fortress so it's obviously going to be a fortress rather than um you know just a regular base that the port of fort throws down regardless this is probably going to be a legendary whereas the uh, port of fort is not so this is probably going to be a little bit more rare in the game you're not going to be finding it as much as the port of fort and it's just going to build a bigger type of port of fort base now this is going to be another grenade added to the game which is a little bit unfortunate because again like i said we only have five slots four items in general so having another grenade added into the game is not really going to change too much of my inventory whereas before say if there were a few less grenades and stuff like that it's a little bit more tempting to pick up grenades because there's not that many to offer and now that we have so many grenades in the game there's not really that many slots for these grenades to go so i don't see myself using these types of grenades that often unless they do add another item slot which is possible with the addition of all these new grenades coming to the game now i wouldn't be surprised if they ended up vaulting one of the grenades that are in the game currently they add this new port of fortress and they remove something else from the game because as you guys know from the last update last week they added the suppressed ar but they ended up taking out the drum gun and vaulting that so it is possible that they add this port of fortress and actually end up vaulting another item maybe the port of fort or another type of grenade just so that we don't have a whole bunch of grenades that are in the game that we can't really pick up because we don't have that many item slots which is i'm assuming why they ended up vaulting the drum gun because that'll just be another weapon that's on the ground that we can't actually pick up if we do have a full item slot so it is possible that they end up vaulting something once this port of fortress ends up dropping you know honestly i'm not completely sure what they're going to be doing once they keep adding more guns into the game either they're going to add more guns into the game and start vaulting older guns that not many people use but then again the drum gun was something that a lot of people use a lot of people were kind of upset that the drum gun actually left the game so it is unfortunate that they're taking some guns that people do want to be using still away but it seems like it's the right thing to do because again there's not that many item slots you only get five item slots and trying to pick up what you want to pick up in those five is kind of unfortunate because you want to pick up more items obviously um you know it's going to benefit you in the gunfights and stuff like that but with all these new items coming into the game it's kind of hard to fill up that item slot and make sure that you know you have the best possible outcome for those and honestly i don't know how good of an addition this port of fortress is going to be into the game i'm personally not one to pick up the port of fort that's in the game currently so i don't see myself picking up the port of fortress unless i'm playing in a squads or something like that where i have another teammate holding it or i'm holding it if they're holding meds or you know shields and stuff like that i don't see myself picking up this port of fortress that often and the only game mode i could see people actually using this in is say soaring 50s or, or some sort of big 50 v 50 type game mode because in those game modes you see these things thrown around all the time port of forts everywhere and stuff like that most solo games most duo games i really don't see port of forts being thrown that much so i could see this port of fortress not being used as often in those game modes so for them to add this port of fortress basically a bigger port of fort into the game i personally think wasn't the greatest idea or don't think it is going to be the greatest idea because not many people are going to be using this probably first obviously the first few weeks people are going to be throwing this down seeing what it looks like but in all honesty there's not many people that actually use this in solos and duos honestly if you guys do let me know in the comment section down below because there probably are a bunch of people but personally i don't see that many in solos i do play a good amount of solo matches and i really don't see these port of forts thrown that often so i'm kind of curious to see how many people are going to be
be using these portal fortresses just because they're going to be a little bit bigger now in solos and duos and stuff like that it's not really going to benefit you having a bigger base but in squads i definitely could see this being uh, very beneficial now we should start to see these portal fortresses coming into the game this tuesday usually every sunday they'll update the updates page on the game basically the coming soon page that shows what is going to be coming soon and usually everything that's shown on that page is going to be dropping that tuesday update once i do update the game because every tuesday they do update and add items into the game so it would make sense that this portal fortress comes into the game this tuesday and we'll see how this thing works in game how people like it how it's going to be looking like what's it going to look like all that good stuff so we should be seeing it coming to the game on this tuesday now, I do want to mention there's only eight days left on Season 5, which means that this cube that's been in the game rolling around, putting these runes on the ground, making all these basically zero-gravity type of areas, is going to be coming to an end. Basically, we have the last rune left and basically every move. So, there's seven moves and there's seven runes. And we're going to be on the seventh rune, which is basically the last step on this cube. And then in the coding, it says after the rune seven has been placed, it will end up starting to move to the lake. So, it is starting to become very close to loot lake which means that this cube is actually going to end up in loot lake we don't know what's going to be happening but once it moves to the lake it's going to start having some lightning effects to it it's going to turn on and a whole bunch of stuff with this cube is going to be going down now a lot of people are assuming that this is going to be happening tuesday basically tuesday is going to end up on the loot uh, or on the lake i should say loot lake and then everything is going to happen from there so this tuesday we got two more days left for that so once that ends up coming into the game we'll have seven or six days i should say left on the season and then we'll know what this cube is going to be up to and what it's going to be doing for the end of this season. So we should start to see more hype towards Season 6, basically in the next coming days. This Tuesday update is probably going to bring a lot of stuff for this update, a lot for this season, and then a lot more hype bringing into, uh, you know, coming into Season 6. So again, gifting is probably going to be an option that drops in Season 6 rather than this season. They have no reason to end up dropping it now. So they're going to probably end up waiting for all the hype to come in Season 6 and then end up dropping that at the beginning of the season. Probably once that season update drops, we'll hop on the game and gifting is going to be an option hopefully that is going to be the end goal obviously that's something we've been wanting for quite a while it's been leaked from the beginning of season five you know end of season four that gifting is going to be coming so hopefully we start to see that at the beginning of season six honestly i'm super stoked for the end of season five beginning season six seeing what this cube has been doing around the map personally i haven't been really following it i haven't been going to all these locations where all the runes have been placed all these zero gravity areas i've not really focused on this cube because there's not much for me to to uh, you know upload on it there's not really much i can follow from that so i haven't been really following it if there's anything that you guys know about let me know in the comment section down below what this cube has been doing and all that I, i'm kind of curious to know so hopefully the end of season five is going to be as hype as the end of season four was with the rocket launch and all that it is possible that we do see that rocket return at the end of season five um depending you know a lot of people have been leaking and, and making their theories on that rocket actually returning with the uh, visitor skin and all that so hopefully Hopefully that does happen at the end of season five i definitely think that'd be a little bit uh you know it bring back the hype for season six and all that and then obviously jumping into season six probably the map is going to be roughly the same they're just going to add some new locations um update some new locations and all that like whaling woods and all that it's going to get changed up so hopefully the um you know beginning of season six is going to be super cool super hype and all that there's going to be a lot of hype around that if you guys did enjoy today's video like the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the end of season five uh you know beginning season six are you guys hyped about that do you guys like the new porter fortress idea coming to the game we'll see that drop this tuesday but that'll do it for today's video make sure you drop a like and i'll see you guys in the next one peace